yes and no. If you compare Japanese military buildup with uh, communist Chinese, Taiwan's, uh, and South Korean's uh, military buildups, yes. For instance, uh, our uh, uh, military fighters, maybe uh, excuse me, uh, air forces have a far better fighter than communist Chinese. But in, uh, if you compare Japanese military buildup with U.S. Just a glass of beer, almost nothing. Japan is building again militarily, and you are in the Far East, and you are Oriental. With the anti-American sentiment growing in your country, can you ever once again see us being on opposite sides of the fence? Well, I don't think the Japanese government will spend uh, more than 1% of uh, annual national income for the purpose of defense, military defense. And I don't think a Japanese military, military role in uh, Asia will sharply increase. You cannot see yourself becoming offensive again? Well, extreme minority in the Japanese people advocates. But I am certainly against it. And I am sure, almost sure, majority will be against it for maybe 20 years or 30 years. You pointed out that the bond election almost failed because there wasn't effective leadership. Yes. What would you have done differently in the last election? I believe that uh, had I been mayor of Fort Worth at that time, and incidentally I did attend the neighborhood meetings when I saw the city manager there, uh, no members of the council, and never the mayor. Uh, I would, uh, and I think there will be another bond issue. I would hope that the people would uh, be attentive. A better sale job to show them what we're going to do with their money. I think people have lost, lost confidence in uh, the council, and not the council per se, but the leadership of the council, uh, that they will do with those bond monies what was intended, and I can prove that. Our first requirement and objective is to have a safe system. If, if uh, our bid is higher because of that, then the airport board We'll have to make that judgment. And they have they have uh, uh, engaged a very qualified uh, uh, research organization, Battelle Memorial Institute, to uh, to write the specification and to analyze the bid. And the airport board have uh, have uh, several highly qualified uh, engineering people on the staff. I think they'll make a fair evaluation. And, and if our system is more expensive, I'm not saying it will be, but it may be. Uh, if it's safer, I think they'll, 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 I'm sure they'll go that way. As you heard this morning, I can assure you that the time and the honor that has been mine to spend in the House and in the Senate, I have heard some of the most beautiful prayers, I believe, that any person has ever had the opportunity to hear.
With a full measure of pomp and ceremony, the inaugural activities have been unfolding today here in the capital city of Austin. The day began with a prayer breakfast, sponsored by Governor Preston Smith and the state officials' prayer breakfast, which is a regular association. At that session, the governor, Attorney General Crawford Martin, and other state officials called for divine guidance and for courage and comfort from above as they faced the tasks ahead of them in their respective offices. At noon, the scene shifted here to the state capitol building, the steps on the south side being the place of the platform for the actual oath-taking and the inaugural addresses. Chief Justice Robert Calvert administered the oath first to Lieutenant Governor Ben Barnes and then to Governor Preston Smith, who, like Barnes, is now beginning his second term as Texas governor. Both men in their inaugural addresses looked forward to the challenges and looked forward to their hope in the next two years. Next, Governor Smith and Lieutenant Governor Ben Barnes were honored in an inaugural parade here in downtown Austin. Thousands of persons lining the streets all the way down the downtown portion of the city of Austin. Tonight, it'll all be capped off with a big inaugural ball plus five other inaugural galas at various hotels and other locations around Austin. Then tomorrow, it's down to work. Governor Smith will outline his proposed budget and the taxes with which he proposes to pay for that budget. And at that time, the legislators themselves will start in writing programs, not only for financing government, but also revamping welfare and redistricting and the many other things you've already heard about they're going to try to do this year. This is Austin McDonald, Channel 8 News on the Move in Austin. maybe one of excitement in a way to know that our government is continuing to try to do something to get these men out of there. After five years, I've learned to just remain cool when things like this happen because I've gotten excited and lost a lot of time for the last five years. But it's going to be a glorious day when they do have a successful rating against them. Does this give you more hope? I'm quite pleased to hear it. Residents are unhappy about air pollution coming from smoke coming from these businesses. James Webb of the Fort Worth Pollution Control Commission says these businesses are in compliance with the law. He said there are three basic ways that are used to sample the air. The opacity method measuring the density of the air the upwind and downwind method, and the stack method, where emissions are directly sampled coming from the smokestack. Mr. Webb said two of these methods cannot be used, and there is a cost problem on the third. The existing regulations uh, really is quite free with agricultural processes, and that is to say that uh, uh, we cannot evaluate them as the same as we would a foundry or a steel plant or an asphalt batching plant. The law is different, it reads differently. It excludes the, the opacity and the up and down when sampling at this time. What about the stack method? Yes, this is what we'll, it, we will be uh, involved in, is actually stack sampling. Whether or not that uh, the agency per se will do the stack sampling or whether or not the company will be charged with this responsibility. This is, has not been cited clearly as, at this time. Mr. Webb and representatives of the companies in question will meet with residents tonight. Their concern is primarily with the air they breathe, not in the law and its enforcement or with the profit and loss statement of these companies. Jerry Park, Channel 8 News on the Move, Fort Worth.